Yo, what is good guys, it's I Professor Legends back here with another Dokkan Battle video for all of you. And today, um, we have some news for you. So Dokkan World has posted, the, so you see here, Dokkan World posted a screenshot on on the Global Dokkan application. And with that, it, Global Dokkan now has the option to skip engines animations. So Global Dokkan will now give you the ability to, to skip skip engines animations. Which pretty much means this year's same day unit is going to have an entrance animation. And that also means it'll be the very first team out to have an entrance animation as well. So <clears throat> what would the What would the same day unit be? So, without further ado, um, let's get right into the prediction. So, um, as of 2019, we got the physical transforming Vegeta. 2020, this is what I can recall. So, 2019, we got the physical transforming Vegeta. 2020, we got the age of transforming Super Saiyan Bardock. Then, last year, 2021, we got the Int transforming, no, not transforming. The Int legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So, um, so I'm thinking that my primary prediction is that it's going to be a AG would, would be a new Turles because you know Turles has been lacking a lot of love recently, and I like to see Turles get their love once again. So. But the question is, how will he get his, how will his entry animation play out? How will his entry animation play out? Will he like, be standing on there just doing the tackle, you know? Not sure how his entry, entry animation is going to play out, but, you know, they'll find a way to work it if it is going to be Turles. Plus, if, if it is going to be Turles, then this, then there's a good chance that this man is going to get an EZA. Yeah, this man. If this, if it's going to be told, this man could get an EZA most likely. And yeah, considering that the last time we got the confess was was back in 2018, I think it'll be time that he got got some love again. So. Maybe change to around, or maybe tanking plus one fifty percent. All allies keep us three tank plus one forty percent. Two plus allies attacking defense minus twenty percent. Probably like forms, forms another additional super attack maybe a critical here as well. We need certain conditions. They made this attacking defense plus two hundred percent. Maybe around 18% HP. Then attack and defense minus 8%. Then maybe for the super attack change to to great chance of stun the enemy. Then change to high chance of stun the enemy. Then move bosses will probably be key plus four stats plus one. Same thing, or maybe one 80%. Then extreme class as key plus three stats plus one 20%. That's what I think is gonna happen. So, if it if it is Turles, so if it's Turles, we could potentially see as the incoming. If they're gonna do the if they're gonna do DBS Broly, they could if they if they plan another tender. I'm thinking is the DBS Broly. So if that's the case, then we could see this man either day. Here's a day. Even like great raise attack defense one turn, we'll screen them to all enemies. Now this man has a good AoE AoE super, but it's only for like two turns if he's on the first rotation. Because he does transform stun from the fourth turn, so. So 
So yeah, keep a six, keep that same. And then tank defense plus one fifty percent. Percent. Not sure how they would do this. And we have like an attack effective against all types. There's a movie heroes category enemy or a realm of gods category enemy. That's what I think could happen then. Maybe a pure Saiyans as well, so maybe Wicked Bloodline. That kind of stuff. Then full power tank defense plus 18 percent. Maybe maybe up to 200, 218 percent. Then maybe just this new attack that's now going to become a super attack. Maybe you know, a great chance. Maybe have attacks better against all types unconditionally. Have the attacks become critical hits when there is a pure Saiyans or movie heroes category enemy. Have the lead skill. Movie bosses category key plus four stats plus. Movie bosses are full power key plus four stats plus one eight percent. That's what I think could happen. So yeah, movie bosses key plus four stats. Movie bosses are full power. Key plus four, stats plus one eight percent. That I can see that happening. Um, then for giant, gigantic catastrophe, probably like massively raised attack and defense for one turn. Cause men's damage to enemy, massively lows defense, and a great chance of stun, stun the enemy as well. Now the thing is, this might be less likely. Sim Simply because of the fact that, you know, he released at the same time as AGL Gogeta. Because, you know, it was a dual Dokkan Fest. Simply, you know, it was a, it was a dual Dokkan Fest for New Year's. A dual Dokkan Fest, so... So, yeah, don't... Don't really see that happening, chance are it's going to be super slim, but it could happen nonetheless. Um, then, if that is also happened, we could also see an extreme Z area for... So you can get these day for this in free to play Broly and the physical Golden Fraser. The int Super Saiyan Broly and the physical Golden Fraser. So yeah, um, the way I can see this is for Freezer, for for Broly's, either they move bosses, key plus three stats, plus same same percent, then int, key plus three stats plus one, plus fifty percent. Two attack could probably stat attack, in, attack and defense. That way, this Broly can be a lot more viable. Then probably like attack and defense plus eight percent, plus an additional attack and defense plus eight percent start turn up to one twenty percent. Plus they're gonna be separate calculations. Then for physical golden freezer, eight percent time reduction. Keep that same. Attack and defense plus maybe change to attack and defense plus fifteen percent. Up to 90% with each attack received. Move, move bosses. Key plus 3 stats plus 50%. And then super attack. Probably add the defense in as well. And this freezer will be very, very solid. And people will probably want to go for additionals as well. If that was to be the case. Then. The third candidate, which I see, is. Although I see least like to happen would probably be a standalone Super Saiyan Bardock. His entry, his entry animation is quite simple as well. Have him transform into Super Saiyan. Do you know the walk when he fall against Chilled? Yeah, that is, and that is a good entry animation. Now the reason I think this is, this is going to be the least like is because you know the Team Bardock getting the easy day is going. Is going to be for the Ginyu celebration when we get our when Global gets their Dokkan Fest AGL Ginyu. Which I think will most likely be in May. Be in May. 
And then... Because I think, if I remember correctly, once Saint Day Banner comes out, probably about a week after the Saint Day Banner comes out, the Global Dota Twitter account will most likely post the official... official previews of the... Official previews of the English version of the physical Super Saiyan 2 to Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the Strength Kid Boo. Which will be for the deal Dogon Fest coming in April. So do keep an eye out for that. So but then getting back to Super Saiyan Bardog. Stand on Super Saiyan Bardog very could be good. But the thing is um the the Team Bardog Extreme Z area that's for the Ginyu celebration. The, then I think the but one thing is for sure bar dot I can see this man getting these a day probably have like you no know, revenge or low class forest that's key plus force key plus force that's plus one eight percent Hope we do a raise attack and attack and defense or some damage. Attack and defense plus 150% attack plus additional attack for some simple low class warrior category and on the team. Up to percent attack better against all types when there is a wicked bloodline category enemy. Wicked bloodline or maybe sworn enemies as well. Maybe add sword enemies in there as well. Did that extra clip make this Bardock a lot more viable? Considering mostly, considering the majority of the antagonists in Dragon Ball are on the sword enemies category. So there is that. And judging by his stats, by the time he once if he does gain his day, his stats will probably be around 55% LR LR worthy. We'll probably have around 13k, 13.8k defense, 19,000 attack, then 21,000 HP. That'll probably be around 69% LR worthy stats. Then the same could apply for Tyler's except it'll be for 55% LR worthy. Yeah, um. Super Saiyan Bardock, attack and defense plus one eight percent. Maybe do a really raise for the super attack effect. Have like this chance on the enemy. That's better against all types of attack at extreme class. And all types become critical hit. Add some enemies in there as well, and we and he is good in terms of crit, in terms of attacks. Offenses. And every and if we do get uh standalone Super Saiyan Barlock, we could potentially see an LR chill in there as well. Potentially see an LR chilled as well. That could be good. So yeah, and those are my predictions for Saint Day 2022. Comment below what you what you guys think will happen for same day 2022. And that being said, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, Damon. This is Professor Legends. Over and out.